What was your what was your first writing job like gig and how did you get it? So uh, it was because of that mailroom job, is how I got it. Um, I uh, let's see. So okay, the first script I got paid to write in Hollywood was um, for a show called Duck Man. It was an animated show uh, that the voice of Jason Alexander from Seinfeld. Nice. Um, Boy, I'm, I'm catching myself in lies. The first <laughs> Hollywood money my writing partner and I made was actually for a movie called Viking Girls on Spring Break. Okay? Wow. So here's some great <laughs> trivia for somebody. Um, and it was, um, I don't, and it was actually subtitled The Legend of the Swedish Bikini Team. I think there was it's like. It's getting better. I know, I, mean. I know. This is, <laughs> this is all like stuff I could be blackmailed with. And it was like there was a ad campaign for beer with the Swedish bikini team or something. And we had written, my partner and I had written a spec script for The Simpsons, which still could get made since the show was still on the air. My goodness. Um, and that was the script that got us a bunch of meetings and agents and stuff. And some writer read it and they had been asked to write, rewrite this movie. And my writing partner and I weren't interested in doing an R-rated comedy, but we decided to do it. At the time, USA was showing like movies and it was called USA Up All Night or something like that. So we just decided to do it as kind of a straight ahead comedy. All right, if the women are in bikinis, fine. It was something, it was something like about um, a family of three Viking sisters um, leave their home and row to America. And when they leave, you know, their Norse land Viking, they're big and bulky, and by the time they get to Florida, they're bikini babes or something. I mean, this is this is the level of this. As plot. one would be, of if course, you yes. Rode that far, and then of course they went through the Bermuda Triangle, so that was suddenly present day, and they arrive in Florida during spring break. So there's your movie. Right. That should have worked. Um, <laughs> and uh, we just wrote it as a straight out kind of um, airplane police squad kind of comedy, mm. and had great fun. I wish we did a reading of that too, and it almost got made. So you you guys wrote the we did feature. a rewrite of that. a rewrite. Yeah, okay, it, gotcha. it, it was um, yeah. This it, the fact that we went through more than one writer on that project tells you the state of Hollywood, <laughs> right? Um, uh, and uh, anyway, so we got that. Uh, that was our first. I think we made three thousand dollars for that job, which at the cool. time was more than we were making per hour from being writer's assistants, because both my writing partner and I were writing assistants at right. the time, making about $10 an hour or something. Yeah. And so we realized that that was more. So that was the first thing. And then Duck Man was the first TV thing. Mm. Um, and then um, and then we also got an episode of The Adventures of Pete and Pete. Oh, yeah. Which was mm -hmm. a Nickelodeon show Nickelodeon. in the 90s. Yeah, yeah. Anybody who's seen that show smiles whenever I, I say that, that title. Yeah. Um, so that Duck Man and the Adventures of Pete and Pete came right around the same time. Um, uh, but so Viking Girls, Duck Man, Pete and Pete, those those three in in the same row. Yeah. And how long had you been living and working in LA before you got that first? Oh, I know those paid much either. I mean, they paid more than being writer assistant, but they paid much. Um, uh, about five years. About five. Uh, years almost exactly it. five years, actually. Okay. Um, and uh, it's it's weird when I talk to people. It's like you got to be able to give it five years. Mm. and see where you are in five years. Yeah. Um, some people will say seven or ten. Sure. Um, and it's not like you have to wait five years to see if anything's going to happen at all. But that's kind of what, like, I don't know. If it's not the demarcation line, but it's kind of like, mm -hmm. have you made some connections? Have you made some inroads? It takes that long to know enough it people takes a long, yeah. to, if you have something, yeah. get to the point where right. it might. Yeah. Now, by that point, I had been in the mailroom and then... A production assistant on various shows and it was the the producer who i met while working in the mailroom asked if i wanted to be a pa on a pilot and then he took me on some other shows and then eventually i was an office assistant to some writers mm -hmm. uh who had written for cheers for seven years great and then uh became an assistant to some showrunners and then a writer's assistant and then back to be a writer's assistant with my writing partner and then we became staff writers and that happened like five years and a month Wow. beyond uh, when we first got here. So that work, you know, that the great opus Viking Girls on Spring Break happened about three and a half or four years in. Eh, mm -hmm. Somewhere about four, four and a half years in. Okay. And then the full-time job was mm. just more than five. Yeah. 